Hey, welcome to another episode of Pickle Judges Something Before It Comes Out. Today, it's Stranger Things. Alright, to be clear, I have seen Stranger Things. I watched the first season twice, and the second and third season one time apiece. We have not seen season four yet, so yes, I could be wrong about all of this. But everything that I'm saying here is based off of the direction this show took from season one to season three. And from the looks of the trailer, season four is going to be even more of the same. So, what is my problem with this show? Oh, only that it completely jumped the shark? Let me explain. Stranger Things Season 1 was great. I don't even like the horror genre, but I couldn't deny how entertaining it was. The cast of kids were incredibly likable and believable. The score was fantastic. The mystery of the monster and the upside down was really intriguing. The directing and writing were well done. Hopper and Joyce were compelling characters. The tone was engaging. The story kept you guessing. And it was an all-around fabulous season of television. It wasn't very original, but it had a lot of great throwbacks to movies like E.T., Invasion of the Body Snatchers, Firestarter, Stand By Me, Poltergeist, The Goonies, and it had that delicious 80s nostalgic feel that's in right now. This show kind of ushered in the recent trend of bringing back 80s nostalgia in media. It was a great show that focused on a single small town mystery. A kid gets taken, and it's up to the mother, the local sheriff, and his group of friends to figure out what happened to him. Winona Ryder gave a gripping and emotional performance as the worried mother who's losing her mind trying to find her son. You feel for her so much, and it's such a personal story to her. David Harbour is perfect as the kind of schlobby and careless cop who kind of just goes through the motions until he's thrusted into this case. And his character turns out to have some real depth that gives the story a real emotional punch. The kids are all well cast, and it was fun to see them all band together to figure out how to save their friend from this other dimension. And the story of Eleven escaping her test facility and finding a real family within the group makes for a great side story that wraps everything together in the end. It was a tightly written, focus show that knew what it wanted to be. It was a coming of age sci-fi horror, and it will go down in history for how good it was. Or at least how it affected the pop culture zeitgeist. It established the Upside Down, an alternate dimension that has all these demonic monsters in it. It set up so many questions. Where did it come from? What does the Hawkins Lab want with it? Are demigorgons just opposite versions of people from our world? Are there other monsters in there? When did they get there? What the hell is this thing? The show even had a full character arc for the generic bully. And no matter what was happening, it was focused on the characters. Every set piece, every conversation, every shocking reveal, it focused on how the events affected each character. And then season two happened, and the show got bigger. It was still a pretty good season, but there were seeds of the fan service bullshit that would hint towards what was coming in the future. Oh, you love Steve and Dustin from season one? Let's put them together. Oh, you like the Demogorgon? Let's make it bigger. Oh, you were sad that Hopper lost his daughter and Eleven never had a dad? Let's have Hopper adopt Eleven. Oh, you think the crew was kind of like the Ghostbusters? Let's dress them up like the Ghostbusters. Oh, you liked the bully from last season? Let's do it again. But this one's even more of a dick. It took everything from season one and amped it up a bit. And let's not even mention the terrible and useless episode seven. Good lord. But it still had the fundamental elements that made Stranger Things, Stranger Things. Then season three happened. And while it's also an enjoyable season of television, it jumps the shark hard. It takes the bike from E.T., finds a shark in the ocean, and jumps right the fuck over it. It's no longer Stranger Things to me. It has morphed into something else completely. It started as a sci-fi horror show about finding a missing kid. Simple and straightforward. Now it's a full-blown action comedy where they have to infiltrate and fight evil Russians. What? 
the seeds of horror are still there. There are still some monsters here and there and some creepy imagery, but the plot of season three is absolutely idiotic. Well, we've already fought the creatures from the Upside Down twice, so this time, we gotta fight Russians. It's the 80s, so it's gotta be Russians, right? On top of fighting monsters, just once again, bigger. You like Steve and Dustin last time? Let's do it again. You guys on Tumblr wanna see Hopper and Joyce get together? Okay. Romantic road trip! You liked Hopper's comedy in the first seasons? Let's pump it up. Shit, let's turn him into a full-on babbling cartoon. Seriously, this was the season that completely lost me. And it made me realize that this show has completely lost the core of what made it popular. Hopper was a great and compelling character in season one. He had a humorous side to him, but he was mostly a serious character when he needed to be. But they think that just because he was funny sometimes, he needed to be losing his sanity this season. He's having a mental breakdown in almost every episode, and it got annoying after a while. He was almost unrecognizable from the man I fell in love with years ago. Seeing the damage of a lonely man who's lost everything is compelling to watch. Seeing Hopper's eyes bulging out of his head because he thinks Will wants to fuck his daughter is not compelling. And the show jumps the shark because it forgot about the DNA of Stranger Things. We're three seasons in, and we still barely know anything about the Upside Down. I'm convinced that the writers don't even know what it is, and they'll never explain it. We'll just keep seeing people trying to harness its power, and the crew will have to take them down. Good lord, this season is so dumb. There's a whole episode dedicated to Steve and Dustin decoding Russian signals on a radio from inside an ice cream shop, and this just isn't what I want to see in this show. Maybe it's just me, but I don't want to see Joyce and Hopper stealing Russian uniforms so they can sneak into a secret base underneath a mall to stop evil scientists from destroying the world. I don't want to see Steve and Dustin sneaking through vents and fighting Russian goons with Lucas's little sister. Why? Why is this show an action comedy now? Why does this conspiracy theorist guy get so much screen time? This show doesn't need more comedy. It has more than enough characters to oblige in that department. Why is Hopper a cartoon character? Why is there a rip-off Terminator? Why does Dustin's girlfriend get a three-minute musical sequence in the final episode? Fuck me! The horror takes a backseat to all of the Russian bullshit. And from the trailer for season 4, it looks like more of the same. Explosions and gunfights and car chases. <sighs> I think the show has lost its way. The acting is still really great, and I still care about these characters, but this is it. If this season isn't great, this show has been a failure to me. I honestly think it should have stopped after season one. But of course, if something is popular, we gotta make more of it. But really, all of the plot lines were tied up, most of the character arcs came to their conclusions, and there was just enough ambiguity to where we were wondering what would happen next Next, but we didn't need to see it. It was this one event that happened in this one town, and it was intriguing to fill out where their lives went afterwards. But now we know. They go on to fight Russians. Cool. And on top of all of that, Hopper's sacrifice at the end, one of the best moments of the season, means nothing because he survived. This is now a comic book universe where no one dies. They probably found a loophole to where the explosion sent him through the upside down to the other end of the portal, and now the Russians have him. So yay, we're gonna get more Russians. Oh, this is just silly at this point. Compare the tone and feel of the first season to the third. Just look at the dip in quality. And maybe this is just a show that evolves and changes genres throughout the series. Okay, I can accept that. I just don't want it. I will reiterate, this should have ended after season one. And that's just my opinion. They have taken this show that was a huge success for a specific reason and transformed it into something else completely to the point where it's almost unrecognizable now. And if you like it, good on you. 
I just personally don't like the direction they're going in. And I am not excited for season 4. I think the showrunners and everyone involved are just chasing the memes at this point. And they are forgetting why people fell in love with this show in the first place. But I could be wrong. I hope I am. Let me know in the comments what you think. And until we meet again, peace out.